The next entry you'll find in the list under datasets is this curious one called tag list. Actually, tag list is only used in conjunction with the advanced formatting options on the RT table web parts. Uh, let, me, let me give you an example. If I were to desire a real specific behavior on columns within the RT table web part, and that behavior is as follows, that when I click on that column, it would send a list of aliases to all the trends on the current page, and those aliases would come from the module database. If I wanted something like that or a feature like that, that's what the this uh, tag list feature allows you to do. It's a specialized type of formatting. As you can see, if you can look at the trend here at the bottom, as I choose any entry in either of these columns, if I choose an entry in this column, it sends one set of tags from the module database. If I click on this column, it sends a different set of tags. Now this was actually done, if you can take a look at my configuration here, it was done using two tag lists that were defined here. Here's my tag list one, here's my tag list two. And as you can see, it's making reference to, these tag lists are making reference to different entries in the module database. Well, as you might guess, it's a little premature to talk about this because we haven't even talked about the RT table configurations yet. So we will revisit this topic when we talk about advanced uh, configuration of the RT table.